Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the last session, I have explained different methods of production of high voltage DC, high voltage AC and impulse voltage. Today I will be explaining on how to produce high voltage DC by using different methods. First method I am going to concentrate high voltage rectifier. You know there are different varieties of high voltage rectifier, half wave rectifier, full wave rectifier and voltage doubler circuits. We will be inspecting individually. What do you mean by high voltage rectifier? That means first one I will be discussing about half wave rectifier. Now let us see the circuit diagram of half wave rectifier. This we are having input voltage that means AC waveform and we are having diode then output. During positive half cycle. Let us see during positive half cycle. What will happen during positive half cycle? See positive half cycle means I can mark positive in this manner with respect to negative. This is actually positive half cycle. Then how about the current, uh, the conduction? Conduction will be like this only. See, this is actually conduction. That means diode will be conducting during positive half cycle. So that what will happen during, this is positive half cycle. So input voltage will come across the load. During positive half cycle, the input voltage will come across the load. That means diode is getting conductive. So it will be getting the output. So this actually, uh, what is happening during positive half cycle. Similarly, during negative half cycle, how you can mark negative half cycle? See, it will be negative in this manner, here it will be positive. So how about the direction? Direction I can change. So direction will be from positive to negative. See direction direction can be shown like this that means whether diode will conduct or not no diode will not operate why because diode is getting reverse biased that means diode become just like open circuit i will be marking like this uh, this diode become open circuit how we can show see diode is getting open circuit so now conduction so output voltage become zero now conduction output voltage become zero during negative half cycle output become zero uh, this type of rectifier is known as half wave rectifier uh, dur uh, in conclusion i can say in half wave rectifier output be output the you will be getting output only during positive half cycle output becomes zero during negative half cycle so this type of rectifier we can say that is half wave rectifier so average output i can calculate it. average output voltage uh, that is equal to vm upon pi vm by pi this is a formula for calculating average output voltage okay i can calculate the average output voltage by using the formula vm by pi now let us see how full wave rectifier operate in the earlier case half wave rectifier means it will operate only during positive half cycle so average output output voltage is less but in case of full wave rectifier let us see how does it operate this is a circuit diagram of full wave rectifier you can see diode d1 and d2 and there is one center tapping transformer there is a center tapping you can see one center tapping there are two varieties of full wave rectifier first one is center tapped rectifier and uh, next one is bridge rectifier two varieties of uh, uh, full wave rectifiers are available so i'll be concentrating uh, center tapped rectifier now we are having the input input supply providing by the transformer step up transformer then d1 d2 then there will be load now let us see the working how does it operate during case one first case let us see case one during case one that means during positive half cycle let us see the positive half cycle. How we can mark the positive half cycle? Here. Positive, negative, positive, negative. During positive half cycle, what will happen? So there will be for a movement of current. So I will be showing the direction of current in this manner. See. During positive half cycle. Then, see. Center tapping is there. That is why I will be marking in this manner. Now tell me what are the level the diode will be operating. During positive half cycle, what will happen? During positive half cycle. During positive half cycle. Uh, diode will become diode d1 become forward biased diode d1 gets forward biased but what about diode d2 diode d2 will not be operated so during positive half cycle uh, diode d1 get forward that means i will be writing f f means a forward fw forward diode d1 get forward biased and diode d2 gets reverse biased that means during positive half cycle i will be getting the output in this manner so uh, during positive half cycle diode d1 get contact input voltage will come across the load so this is the way how it is operating during positive half cycle. Now I wanted to explain uh, how does it operate during negative half cycle. Let us mark the direction of current so that you will be getting better understanding. 
okay so please clean accordingly let me rub in this manner so that i can explain very easily for you during negative half cycle case 2 case 2 case 2 during negative half cycle during negative half cycle during negative half cycle so how we can mark negative half cycle means uh, negative with respect to positive here negative positive now just explain me how about the direction of current so current will be moving obviously in this manner see current will be moving like this tell me whether diode d1 conducts never diode d1 never conducts why because it is getting reverse biased diode d1 become reverse biased now tell me whether diode d2 will be conducting or not of course and of course i can say diode d2 will be conducting see diode d2 will be conducting so what i can write during a negative half cycle d2 become forward forward biased diode d2 gets forward biased and where diode d1 is getting reverse biased so what will happen during negative half cycle d2 is getting operated uh, then the input voltage that will come across the load rl so that i will be getting the output so obviously i can say that average output will be high as compared to half wave rectifier the expected average output voltage is 2 vm divided by pi that's the output voltage which is regarding full wave rectifier uh, there is one more combination that is called bridge rectifier so full bridge rectifier that means uh, sender tapped full bridge rectifier we have to use uh, sender tapping sender tapping means a uh, lot of issues so in order to overcome the sender tapping so we do proceed next type of rectifier that is called bridge rectifier so here no sender tapping is required that's a main advantage but we require four diodes d1 d2 d3 and d4 respectively the output will be 100 percent same so you'll be getting full output during positive half cycle and negative half cycle you'll be getting the output but operation is little bit different little bit different i'll show you how does it operate now let us see during positive half cycle i'll be marking during positive half cycle okay you will do mark the path how it operate positive half cycle means current will be moving from positive to negative then i'll be moving current will be moving from positive to ne negative then what will happen first d2 will be conducting see d2 will be operating d2 then what will happen it will be directly move, moving towards the load then what will happen you tell me uh, then current will be moving towards d4 then it will be directly coming back to negative end of the supply this is a conductive path hope it is very clear during positive half cycle what will happen d2 as well as d4 is getting conductive now let us explain during negative half cycle what will happen during negative half cycle i'll be using other type other ink so you'll be having better understanding negative half cycle means what negative half cycle see this is actually negative half cycle negative and this will be positive during negative half cycle what will happen negative half cycle means uh, obviously i told early negative will come over here and a positive will be coming over here so current direction how about the current direction c uh, starting from here okay then it will be directly moving to d3 so that d3 will be conducting why because d3 is in forward bias condition then directly it will be moving here then here it will be splitting one one will be moving towards the load other will be moving towards d2 d2 will not be uh, d2 will not be conducting why because it is in reverse bias condition then it will be directly moving towards the load then what will happen then it will be directly moving towards till this point here splitting will be taken place one point will be one uh, junction consider the junction one will be moving towards uh, d1 other the current will be moving towards d4 here tell me which one will be operating obviously d1 is getting operating d1 is getting conductive so what will happen it will be directly moving towards uh, negative ends. so connection will be completed Posit starting from positive and ending to negative tell me what and all the diodes will be operating here diode d1 and d3 getting operating so this is the simple working of bridge rectifier advantage is uh, it is there is no sender tapping is required sender tapping is not at all required for bridge type bridge type rectifier moreover we require four diodes that's okay no issues so this is having uh, more advantages compared to sender tapped rectifier only problem is you have to take care about the diodes uh, now i'll be moving on high voltage rectifier in the third section that is voltage double circuit you can see the circuit diagram of voltage double circuit we are having capacitor c1 c2 and diode d1 d2 respectively now let us see how does it operate during positive half cycle see the positive half cycle what will happen uh, the capacitor c1 charges peak value of input voltage so i can say that capacitor will be charging till vs maximum okay so this much of voltage will come across here that is happening during 
positive half cycle that means there will be a closed path there will be formation of closed path in this region see closed path will be forming that means the diode d1 is getting forward biased so input voltage will be uh, input voltage will be over here so that the capacitor c1 will be charged c1 will be charging up to uh, vs maximum that is happening during positive half cycle now let us move on during negative half cycle during negative half cycle what will happen during negative half cycle you can see during negative half cycle so negative will be here only so i'll be removing this during negative half cycle what will happen this diode d2 diode d2 is getting forward biased so c2 will be charging up to 2 into vs maximum so output voltage become 2 2 into vs maximum that's the value of output voltage this will be taken place during negative half cycle so total voltage that will be uh, 2 into Vs into maximum that is happening in case of a uh, voltage doubler circuit. Okay, if you apply KVL, then you can directly write the equation as it is C uh, minus v ma Vs maximum minus Vc1 plus Vc2 that is equal to 0. If you rearrange the terms, then I can write Vc2 is equal to Vc1 plus Vs maximum. So Vc1 equal to how much Vs into Vs maximum plus Vs maximum. So what I can write output output is equal to. 2 into uh, Vs maximum, 2 into Vs maximum, this much of voltage I will be getting. Okay. So this is the expected output of voltage doubler circuit. There are two types of voltage doubler circuit, half wave voltage doubler circuit and full wave voltage doubler circuit. I will be explaining about uh, voltage doubler type rectifier with the full wave, full wave condition. Now the circuit diagram remains same, uh, but ele elements are same only D1, D2, C1, C2, but arrangement is somewhat different. During positive half cycle, the diode D1 getting conductive and the diode D2 is under reverse bias condition. That means uh, during po uh, po positive half cycle, uh, the capacitor C1 that is getting charged till the peak value of transformer secondary voltage that is Vs maximum that is happening here. Okay, at this at this time we can say that diode D2 that is under reverse biased condition. Diode D2 is actually under reverse bias condition. Diode D1 will be forward bias condition. So capacitor C1 that will be charging till the peak value of input voltage that is Vs maximum that you can show in the diagram. Okay, during negative cycle what will happen? During negative half cycle obviously diode D2 is getting forward biased and D1 getting reverse biased. Okay, at that time what, what is going to happen? That means the capacitor C2, the capacitor C2 uh, that is getting charged, uh, that is getting charged till the uh, peak value of transformer secondary, that is actually Vs maximum. If you look at the overall output, what will happen? The co combined output you can take, the combined output of C1 and C2 you can take and you will be getting output to voltage that is equal to 2 into Vs maximum. So that is the output to voltage of uh, Full, full wave voltage doubler rectifier okay i hope you could understand what, what do you mean by half wave rectifier what is full wave rectifier and what is voltage doubler circuit voltage doubler circuit is can be divided into two manner first one is half wave voltage doubler type and second one is full wave voltage doubler type uh, thanks for listening this video please share and don't forget to subscribe thanks